I love it, I love it. We found other uses for it, as have many musicians since, and probably the most famous use, we as the Beatles put it to, um, was on the front of one of our records, which like, went like this. Let me take you down, cause I'm going to Strawberry Fields. Okay. Johnny, this is John Hamill, who for 30 years, man and boy, has been handing me guitars. <laughs> I don't know where he gets them. Yeah. Um, okay, th uh, this is a new song, and um, the story behind it is that uh, when George and I were kids in Liverpool, uh, we, we grew up playing guitar together. Um, and uh, one of the things we would have was a kind of party piece, just uh, occasionally, you know, just to show people we weren't as thick as we looked. So we would, uh, we would play a little piece, and, and actually we got it wrong, but we played a little piece that was by Bach. And uh, the thing we liked about it, it was it had a melody line and a bass line going at the same time. It was this piece. You really should go do 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 But we, we didn't know that bit. So yeah, it was our little show-off party piece. And actually, the bit where we went wrong uh, is... I, I later took that, the idea that, uh, that you've got the bass line on the top line, the melody, and it turned it uh, into Blackbird. Um, and I enjoyed that style so much, and it, it kind of worked that uh, on this new record, I thought, I haven't written anything in that style since then. So I, I wanted to kind of revisit that. <coughs> and so I was sitting around trying to write something like that with a top line and a bass line, and came up with this song called Jenny Wren. Jenny Wren could sing, but a broken heart took a song away. Like the other girls, Jenny Wren took wing, she could see the world and its foolish way.
mends its foolish ways Then we'll spend our days catching Thank you.